chapters of Aviva. I trust your journeys here this morning were trouble-free, although I understand trips from Liverpool may have been a little bit more challenging than they should have been. Apparently Crewe is the offset instead of London. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here today in such distinguished and influential company. As you've just seen in the, in, in the video, uh, Aviva has a long history of being involved in protecting property and fire being an absolutely key part of that. My name is Mark Dunham and I head up the technical underwriting and risk management team for Aviva, uh, focusing on the commercial side. And it won't come as a surprise that fire is a key part of what we are concerned with. Now, before we start, some housekeeping for you. Um, we want to make sure you're all going to have a fantastic time today. So just briefly want to mention there are no fire alarm tests today. Uh, that was done at nine o'clock this morning. So if you do hear an alarm, then it is a proper uh, evacuation that is required. It is a continuous bell and you should exit by the marked evacuation points. If there's anyone who requires assistance, please make yourself known and we will make sure that you are safely evacuated. Whoops. There's something missing on this slide, but hey. Um, some key things just to make you aware of. It's a no smoking building. We ask that you don't eat in here. You can take drinks, but not glasses. So there are bottles of water available if you so require. Who are we? Well, have you seen from, from the short video, Aviva has been around since 1696, and we have a huge and proud heritage of taking care of people and property. We are the lead, UK's leading insurer in wealth, retirement, and we have about 18 and a half million customers around the world in mainly the United Kingdom, Canada, and Ireland. Our business is all about providing protection and property is a key part of that, be it a home or a building. And if we're looking at the largest loss, fire is a critical part of that. So it's not a surprise that we're deeply interested in protecting property and making sure that the property is there for people going forwards. As an insurer, we see firsthand the pain and suffering that suffered following a fire and the consequences to the built environment. Now we're five years on from the Grenfell tragedy and we have a meaningful opportunity to actually change things for the better so that property protection is not just focused on protecting people, but it's about protecting the asset which they've either invested in or they are using. It's an opportunity we can't miss. We owe it to everybody, the people who were affected five years ago, but it, along with everybody else who's affected by fire. And it's not always the obvious things that, that we talk about. Yes, as an insurer, we can replace the building, we can replace the plant machinery, we can, play, we can replace your television or your kitchen table. But we can't replace everything and we can't protect everything. We cannot take away the stress and emotional impact of having your house burnt down. We can't take away the impact of having to live somewhere else whilst your property is being repaired, away from loved ones and potentially away from your schools if you're, if you're a child. And we can't replace those treasured items, that photo of a loved one or the picture your kids did and, and brought home from school of, uh, of you when you were perhaps a little bit younger and like me, hopefully like me, had a little less hair. For about 90% of us, 
or actually for all of us, about 90% of our time is spent in buildings. And we believe that sustainable buildings need to be resilient. They need to be resilient to fire as well as natural catastrophes. And it's not just about protecting the people. Whoops, sorry. Our current planning and, and bu building standards are focused quite rightly on life safety and making sure that pe people can evacuate from the building safely in the event of a fire. But they don't focus on protecting the property. And as an insurer, we have a very strong view that they should be set to protect both. In, in the film that you just saw, we, we mentioned that Aviva have some very strong views on climate change and sustainability. And what we can't quite reconcile is why we would build buildings that we know are going to be destroyed in the event of a fire and how that reconciles itself with sustainability. Surely building a building once rather than many times is a better way to go. So we need to put in place much more rigorous standards around how we protect our buildings. They have to be safe for people, but they should also be resilient so they don't get destroyed in the event of a fire. So today's seminar is a great opportunity to learn and reinforce some of the topics that you'll be discussing to network with your peers and to share some experiences. Ask questions and join the debate. And most importantly, for you to enjoy the day. Before I go, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all the guests and speakers and exhibitors, and of course, the ASFP for organizing today's excellent seminar.